And then uh, this dead reckoning where you're going through two waypoints and back to home. Whoever gets closest and fastest wins. And all those challenges by themselves are simple. Intended to <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. It does a like honeycomb fill layers on the inside so it doesn't waste the plastic. What do you have? You missed Hello. He was doing it a few minutes Hello. ago. So. How y'all doing today? Hey, how are you? <laughs> and uh, Brandon, this is all the stuff that we brought in. Uh, some of it was uh, battle box that we put in the Dragon Con, and uh, <laughs> other of it is just hobby stuff. Just hobby stuff. This was actually an independent study that one of our that one of the students did. I didn't think, like when I looked it up, I didn't think you'd get that much money for taking it. Oh, yeah, feel free to give me a new contact. Me yeah. I, 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 I have to, my basement is dangerous to walk through, and I have to approach the mine. Excuse me. I don't think I can. I think that probably took like 10 or 15 minutes today. This is this is really thin. If y'all look at it, I can see you do it. That might take five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Now you can touch me. This is not important. This is just all stuff I made today. So I mean, a lot of it, it probably won't make it. Like, it probably, unless I put it in a proper oven, it'll break at some point. This is just all for fun. How many pictures does it take? It takes four. That, that, four yeah, it, it takes four pictures, and they're all from the same viewpoint. It's lighting you up so like, using the screen as the light source. That's, that's the key. So you need at least three to get this to work before it makes it robust to noise. Um, and you, what you want to capture them as quickly as possible so that you don't move while it's going on. They kind of need to be at the exact same uh, object standing still. Um, the Lotus here, so for example, in the uh, 
the eyes, there's these spikes coming out of the eyes. That's because they violate the, the model of how light should be reflecting off of things okay. like skin and stuff. Uh, so as long as you're not too reflected, uh, it'll work. People who move their eyes around and follow the, uh, follow the light source tend to have bumped out eyes uh, as well. Yeah. Well, the light version that you can build yourself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't think you know. RFI. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, You actually have a um, powder. Yeah. You have a powder that is a solid piece of powder. So it, it just goes. So the powder itself acts as a support material. The material itself with that's not burned acts as a support material. So it doesn't go from bottom up. So the, the professional machine goes bottom yeah, up. Yeah, right? and they'll orientate them. They'll they'll run a big batch of parts. So they'll you might have this. You might have. You know, another one, you might have something else, you might have these, all in one big cube of the powder, and they print it all at one time, then separate them out. Okay. Good to know. Maybe like, hey, you know, like, I'm going to see. Yeah. At the same time, um, we have service not here. Not, not a proper oven, but we have, we don't have, like, a swipe or anything. My name is Proteus. I'm a completely autonomous mobile robot. I'm called Proteus because of my flexible body. In Greek mythology, Proteus was the shapeshifter god. Since I can dramatically change the shape of my body, I think it is an appropriate name. I became operational in Norcross, Georgia, on March 28, 2003. I have several internal microprocessor systems. My core processor is a Motorola Power PC MPC555. This risk-based processor is capable of executing 60 million instructions per second. My audio enunciation system consists of a digital text-to-speech synthesizer, a compact flash-based MP3 player. I can access each of these systems independently. Each of these subsystems feed into my dual 45 watt audio power amplifiers. I can only vaguely see you now. However, I will soon be equipped with vision hardware so that I may see and track colors. I will then be able to chase a ball across the floor or follow someone through a building. I'm also going to be equipped with sonar sensors to detect objects that may be in my path. My prime directive is to act as a robotic relational agent. This means that I present information to humans to educate and inform. The state of robotics is constantly advancing. Today my computing power might be compared to that of a simple insect. With computer processor speed doubling about every 18 months, it will take 10 more years for computers to equal the mental power of a lizard. Experts predict that by the year 24, computing power will equal or exceed the mental power of humans. Thank you for your attention. The program might still be running. So actually, I remodified it so the sprite token makes better. I built it myself. I think it made like 10 bucks. You can buy them now. I think he's going to put a 40 watt CO2 in now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 